welcome to this video where we'll be discussing the Supplemental Offer and Acceptance Program, or SOAP for short. SOAP is an important process used by the medical residency programs in the United States to fill any unfilled residency positions after the match day. If you missed our video explaining the match process, you can check it out by clicking on the link in the top right corner of the screen. If you have been matched with the program, congratulations. However, if you are not matched, don't stop now because that's where the SOAP comes in. It is a process that allows unmatched medical students to apply for and secure residency positions that were left unfilled after the match day. SOAP is a fast paced and intense process that takes place over the course of several days. So how does the SOAP work? The SOAP process starts on the Monday after match day. Programs with unfilled positions will list their vacancies on the Electronic Residency Application Service, or ERAS, and eligible unmatched applicants will be able to apply for these positions. To be eligible for SOAP, you must have registered with the NRMP, paid the appropriate fees, and not have any contractual obligations that prevent you from accepting a position. You will also need to be able to start residency training on July 1st. During the first round of SOAP, you can apply to programs with unfilled positions you have not previously applied to. You will need to apply quickly as the deadlines for each round are short. You will also need to be flexible with the programs you apply to as the positions available may not be in your preferred specialty or location. After submitting your applications, programs will have until 11.30 a.m. on Tuesday to review and consider them. If a program is interested in you, they will contact you directly to offer an interview. On Wednesday, programs will continue to review applications, conduct interviews, and begin creating and certifying SOAP preference lists. They will have to finalize their preference list by the following morning for round one offers. On Thursday at 9 a.m., applicants will receive round one offers and have until 11 a.m. to accept them. Round two offers begin shortly thereafter at 12 p.m. with a deadline to accept those offers by 2 p.m. This is followed by round three and round four offers at 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. respectively, each with deadlines to accept offers within two hours of receipt. Now, it's important to know that SGSM does not have access to the R3 system, which means we do not get the list of unfilled programs or SOAP results. Therefore, we encourage all successful SOAP applicants to reach out to us on Thursday to inform the school if you received any offers during round ones through four. And that's SOAP. While it's certainly not the ideal way to start your residency journey, SOAP can be a valuable opportunity for unmatched medical students to secure a residency position. Remember to stay calm and focused during the process, be flexible with your choices, and don't hesitate to reach out for any help.